Hi, it's Renee and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I wanted to just go through, um, I've heard a few comments on another website that you cannot homestead on less than five acres. I'm here to tell you, you can. Um, I, I already did one post on this, but I wanted to just kind of expand that. We are on 1.1 acre. Um, we have the garden. Uh, didn't go over so well this year. A um, lot of issues, a lot of, we're in a heavy, heavy drought. I think it's um, excessive drought this year. Um, so it's, you know, the garden didn't go very well, but we do, we have the garden. Um, we have our water catchment systems. This is our holding tank, and this is what waters all of our plants. We've, I've got my grape in the background there, my grape plant. Um, our, I have two cows. I've got a heifer and a bull. My heifer is over here. She is in the front yard um, right now because she is too young to be bred. So she's up here right now. Um, she'll be going to the back with Bambi uh, probably fairly soon. She's, she's almost a year old. Um, I always try to wait at least a year uh, before we do any breeding on any of the animals. We've got a watermelon plant that is just exploding because of all of the rain. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, got even a couple watermelon right here. So, and that's, that's just the ones we can see. I'm sure there's more in there somewhere. Um, we got another watermelon plant over here. Um, we did a little shaded area in the back here. that are doing well. We have another watermelon plant over here that is so far only producing one, one watermelon right there, but it goes down and it goes into our squash plant over there. So, you know, um, we have our, this, our acre is long. It's not wide. It's not a square. It's more of a rectangle goes all the way back to those houses in the back there. We have all of our animals in the back. I'm just gonna kinda hopefully get to a spot in the fence. But we've got the boys are in the pen here. Um, this is where Bambi is usually at. He's, he's out today with everybody else right now. I don't know if I can get to the fence back here or not. But, uh, let's see, I'll just come up right here. There's, there's Astra. Um, and I've got, you know, a big tree in the backyard. And we've got all the animals here. There's Baleen. Um, we've got, uh, ooh, ants on the fence. Awesome. Uh, hopefully I got them all off of me. Uh, Baleen over there. We got the pig pens. We've got Cress over here. There's there's Huckleberry over there. You know, so and they have they have a lot. If I could get near the fence, I would. Um, they have a lot of area back here. All of this that goes back all the way to the houses back there. They have this whole area. So, you know, it is very possible to do homesteading on one acre. Very possible. So don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Um, if you, if that's how you want to do, then by all means, you do it. Don't let people tell you that, you know, you have to have X amount of acres in order to homestead. Um, 
if all you can do is a couple containers, um, you know, a couple vegetables, maybe tomatoes or, or something like that, a couple vegetables um, in containers, then so be it. That's what you do. You just start where you are with what you have and work from there. Um, so I guess, hopefully, this will be the last time that I hear um, this one, but I doubt it. We'll see. So, um, have a great day. And uh, just do what you can where you're at.